Derek, 1x1 or 1x5? Okay, we're hooked up 1x1 to 1x5. Polarity on 1x1? In on 1x and non-polarity coming out on 1x5. Excellent. Oh, we're uh, commissioning a new substation in upstate New York. Uh, today, specifically, we're going to be passing secondary current on uh, breaker R10 from our CTs to inside the control house. And the piece of equipment we're going to use to do that is the Cabana 100. And it, before that, this table will be filled with equipment for doing the same thing that the Cabana 100 is. We would have an isolation transformer, we would have a load box, we'd have a polymeter, and a phase meter. And the really slick thing about this is it's battery operated. And because in any construction job you do, the last thing the electricians do is hook up your AC power to power stuff up. So we can go on with our task to get that accomplished by using this piece of equipment because it runs on a battery. It uh, gives us a sawtooth AC current wave. Go sawtooth, select one amp, and we have the one amp and we have the sawtooth. Non-polarity on 1x5. Excellent. We'll go inside and first place it hits. Sure. And now we're going to check the wirings inside the control house. Derek is going to go in the back of the panel with his probe and make sure he has it at the first point of entry from the CT from the outside. So Derek, can you go to panel A1? H1, you should have it. Okay. On H1, we are reading polarity. And Derek, you shouldn't have it on A1, H2. Okay, we're reading nothing on H2. Or 3. All right, H3, we have nothing as well. All right, and you should have reverse polarity on our return on H4. Okay, on H4, red face means we are coming in non-polarity. All right, and Derek confirmed that we don't have it on B phase or C phase. We have it in reverse polarity on a neutral coming back to 1x5. The nice part about the C-pole too is that in the applications where you can't use the amp probe, you don't have to clip all the wire ties. You can just switch to your leads and you can just read right across. And there's no need to remove any leads like we used to. Okay, so our final test would be uh, checking the display on our relay, which says 400 amps on A phase, which the Capano 100 outside on R10 is putting one amp on our secondary CT circuit. So it's a 2005 CT, 400 to one on the secondary side. So we got one amp coming in to our relay and this place says 400 amps. Derek just finished checking our bus pots from out in the yard into the control house with the Capano 100 um, with uh, easy access from going from current to voltage. And now he's working on the DC control circuit throughout the same thing and it's also very nice we did three different tests and we use the same piece of equipment we don't have to go to our truck drag stuff out we're not dragging leads across the control house he's got that probe that he can go from here to over there with no tripping hazards nothing like that and it's very important because the polarity for our voltages and CTs circuits are very important for our relays distance directional relays to work properly during a uh, real-time fault.